All right. So you just watched Tristan demonstrate what we recommend as a shooting stance. Uh, everything again with the principles of marksmanship. If you're not familiar with the principles of marksmanship, stance, grip, side alignment, sight picture, trigger control, and breath. Okay. We always recommend finding a good instructor nearby. Take lessons. Okay. Learn you, the fundamentals. You can't be training. So, a even Vic, he's what you. 40 years, 50 years, 100 years now, been shooting. He's been around since Samuel Cole. He was one of the guys that tested the uh, original uh, uh, Samuel Cole's pistol. But no, but training, like we still take training courses ourselves. Absolutely. Still, like, and we always, we don't stick with the same training companies. We like to venture out and see what's new and adventurous and fun as well. But um, it's good to get out there and do some basic training. It, you might be shooting for 30 years, but still, it's always good to do a basic pistol course mm-hmm. with a different instructor, with a different point of view. Um, so are we going to discuss now, we're going to move on to uh, zeroing the rifle or zeroing uh, a rifle, but this takes going to be uh, MCK. All right. So when it comes to zeroing an MCK, it is the same principle as zeroing a rifle. All right. So you're going to have on the RMCK here, you have the foresight and the rear sight. This is going to be in charge of the elevation, and it's going to be in charge of windage. In layman's term, up, down, left, right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, when it comes to um, preferences of zeroing, everyone has their own style, um, what they've been taught from the beginning. So for me, um, I like to foresight onto paper, whether it be through the barrel, or with a pistol, you can't really look through the barrel, so you can use a laser. Uh, bring it onto paper for 10, 15 yards in your house before you go to the range. Um, and then you go to the range, and then you start working on the zero itself. Um, with Vic, is there a different way for you? No, start with a la- I I'd recommend a laser. Obviously, you can't, like you said, we can't bore sight the gun. So the laser is a good starting point. Minimum, I would say 10 yards. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, we're going to talk about offset, and offset just means the distance from the where the bullet comes out to where you're looking. Yep. And obviously I think I watched a video one time. The guy said, if you really want to understand it, walk up to your target with the rifle. You're going to see where your muzzle is laying and then look through the site. You're going to see where the site's looking. That's your off site. Yep. So I think there's a, when I was in the military, there used to be this uh, uh, poster um, on the walls. And it used to talk about knowing your muzzle discipline so with offset, so you might be looking down through the side here, but you actually don't know where your muzzle is sitting. Okay? So it's a very important thing to uh, remember that as well. Yeah, I've heard stories of uh, people shooting, well, like trying to take cover behind a vehicle and actually shooting the vehicle. Yeah. So great story about a police sniper. Okay. That happened to him too. Okay. He was behind cover. Uh, there was a hostage situation. He fired one shot, nothing happened. And I think, I, I can't remember if he did it once or twice, but when he figured it out, he was looking through the scope, but the barrel of his gun was right behind the wall. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So it's, it's a, it's a life's lesson. And hopefully like, again, training and uh, practice, you can get through that. Um, but what Vic was touching into with the MCK, particular, particular the offset, um is we have 126 plus models okay so every barrel and the top of the site is going to be different heights and then for those that are adventurous and they bring their own sites to the game um and i know uh one company out there called troy they have their sites and they're almost like 2.93 inches or 1.93 inches high because they're co-witness to an optic okay so with that, if you're putting a, th- a three inch or two inch uh, optic up here, you're now increasing that side of bore almost up to five inches. Okay, so that's a, a big difference. Um, and that plays into our elevation mainly because there's only a certain amount of degrees you can bring the foresight down or up. Okay. So you will find limitations in the mechanical limitations of the equipment you have. Um, one suggestion we have spoken to people about is getting uh, offset rails to help this. That gives you an initial uh, extra 
uh, movement on it. Um, but all this talk, let's talk about what we're going to do here. Um, and we're going to do it on the range. 